Stephen Waters and Michael Martin, two ALS patients working with 60 Minutes, traveled to Monterey, Mexico to meet Larry Stowe and Frank Morales. Stowe and Morales said they could treat the symptoms of ALS with an unproven stem cell therapy. The men met in a hotel room that we set up with hidden cameras. Stowe and Morales expected to see a cash down payment of $35,000, but instead we walked in for an on the record interview. Direct spinal cord. I'll get it. That's Larry Stowe sitting on the right. On the couch were Michael Martin and Steve Waters, and Morales was explaining how the stem cell treatment would go. Hey, Steve, Michael. Mr. Stowe, Mr. Morales, I'm Scott Pelly. I'm with 60 Minutes, and I'd like to ask you a few questions uh, on the record about what you propose. I understand that you have had patients that have stood up and walked away from wheelchairs who have ALS. There have been patients that have improved to, to that extent. You've reversed the condition? Yes. You know, Mr. Stowe, the trouble is that you're a con man. Really? You're, you're lying about this protocol. You've lied about your association with the University of Texas. You've lied about your work with the FDA, and now you're lying to these gentlemen about what they can expect. And why do you say that? Nobody at the FDA knows anything about any of this. And the University of Texas is not going to be starting a regenerative medicine clinic with your name on it. Really? When we asked Stowe to back up his ALS claims, his story changed. Give me a Stowe Foundation patient who has ALS who has stood up out of a wheelchair and walked away. We don't have any ALS patients. We have MS patients. We are talking about the, the treatment that you have taken their money for. Is that a treatment that would allow them to stand up out of a wheelchair and walk away? With an ALS patient? No, we've done it with MS patients. I don't believe that's what they understood. Well, I don't then, believe that's what you told them. Then they weren't listening. Can you give, oh, actually, I we were them. listening okay. very carefully. Okay, do you have the tape recordings? I do. Pull them up. I have. Pull them up. I want to hear them. I can do that. Okay. And we did. This was your meeting in Houston. Right. Just a few weeks ago. Well, if I opt for the uh, permanent fix, what, keep me out of a wheelchair? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. No, we've, we've had uh, a, a number of uh, ALS you know, patients um, be able to get out of their wheelchairs. That's not true, is it? The Still Foundation has not. You told Steve that you were going to keep him out of a wheelchair. That's not true either, is it? No, that's very true. You're going to sit here after seeing that, and you're going to look this man in the face and tell him that he's going to stay out of a wheelchair? I mean, that's cruel. Really? What is his prognosis if he doesn't do this? His prognosis is the same either way. No, it's not. Mr. Stowe, you told these men in Houston that a cure was, in, in your memorable phrase, 100% possible. Possible. Is that a guarantee? The folks at home are wondering, what goes through your mind when one of these men pushes a suitcase full of cash across the table to you? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that they came to the right place if they want any hope at all. So is there a permanent fix from the stem cells? Oh, well, yes. Many patients have pinned their hope on Dr. Frank Morales and his improvised stem cell procedures. Recently, he injected stem cells into the spine of a seven-year-old American boy in an attempt to treat the boy's autism, a procedure with no basis in medical science. We found Morales's training is dubious. This is the certificate he presented to a Monterey hospital showing he completed his training at Texas Tech University. But in the interview, he switched schools. Have you ever been licensed to practice medicine I, in the United I, States? I, I, was, I have, and I worked under uh, University of Texas, where I was at in El Paso. 
and uh, came to Mexico after that. The University of Texas El Paso has no medical school and no record of Morales as a student. But you have a license, or had a license to I, practice in the state of Texas. It was an institutional license at the University of Texas, El Paso, Utah, Utah. Utah. So it, you, you can go there and you'll find it. I mean, that's simple. That just, if you did your homework, that's lousiness. I mean, on your behalf, sorry to say. Not only does he have no credentials from the University of Texas, we found that his Texas Tech credentials are fraudulent. A Texas Tech lawyer told us, where it was obtained or manufactured, I couldn't say, but it was not issued by Texas Tech. Several minutes into the interview, we watched the Stowe-Morales relationship dissolve. Morales walked out, then came back to disavow Stowe. Scott, Scott, yeah, you know, I think that just in, in the sense of uh, using, you know, his, you know, using him to try to bring me down is that, I think, is is inappropriate. I mean, at least... Sit down and talk to me about it. Uh, well.